There had not been a time in recent memory when any had challenged the collective might of the Commonwealth. But as conflict engulfed the world, our enemies were foolish enough to bring aggression to our coastline. And as Japanese bombs fell on our shores, the Commonwealth was already in motion to defend her people. And when we strike back, we shall do so as united front, with allies by our side. And together, we shall find victory! Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, we're carrying on with the next episode of the uh, the Bridge Malaya Heart of Iron. So let's have a look. Okay, let's get things sorted. So we have the uh, the troops here ready to rock and roll. Let's get these guys into position, and these the ones on this side. Let's get them organised. Let's change how this looks. Right, let's get them set up along the border. So all of these will move along the border. These other troops are going to be in position. Well, actually, I want to leave, leave those there just in case. Now, 15 units. Is this going to be enough for them all to, uh, to move in? So cl let's click in, add them to, the, uh, to this section. One, two, three, four, five... There'd be approximately three units per section. Is that enough? So let's check how many others we've got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units. Nine units remaining to cover this part of Borneo. Now, let's have a look. Production size. So 26 units. I want to then get a couple of these guys out of this unit. Put them into this second section. Actually, let's put all of these in a second section with no commander. And then any new new units can come in under this command. So this new this old section, let's get them garrisoning the whole area. And we're going to right, we're gonna go for the victory points. Ports are gonna be useful. Guard the coastline, yes, we don't have any forts, airfields, and resistance. So these guys will start defending, getting ready. And we've included in this uh, defensive area here of the island, which is interesting. And in fact, let's get one additional area for them as well, which could be quite good. So, for that to happen, let's... That's the coastline, the naval bases, and the special areas, with the rest of these 17 troops, which are going to be moving to this border. Now, we'll get a an offensive line, show where we want to go. So, the first section, we will get them to conquer this region, and then after that, following up to there... And after that, to this area. And then we'll see how it goes after that. So, let's look at our logistical side. So, we've got 1,500. Oh, we're losing uh, 40, yeah, 40 equipment. That's not good. We've got a lot, but hey. So, let's have a look at this second unit. We want to get the best troops at the front so these now let's allocate the best troops to this front line with these other troops which aren't so good we'll get them in Borneo training until they're fully equipped and ready to rock and roll so we're gonna, we'll have the troops transferring between one zone and the next. So this is the the full section. So let's stop the uh, the training of these troops, and we'll allocate them all to the front line. These troops, which aren't quite so good, we will get them 
well they, they'll just carry on let's get them training in the background brilliant and you can see them all moving into position now let's look at the resources side resources okay surplus of oil aluminium we need so aluminium is well we got we need some which is hampering the production of uh, the support equipment so we can deal with this these numbers are going up so up to it, the cap is going to be 55 percent we're on 44 percent at the moment and the weapons which we need seven and seven thousand month seven and third thousand let's look at the big picture weapons wise we have 1500 we're losing a certain amount but the quality is going up so let's in fact let's click on let's highlight these troops allocate them to the new theater malaysian theater 2 and we're going to get these guys as having a low priority the higher priority is going to go to theater one so they get the, the the best troops will have the best equipment cool so that's going to be sorting that out so you can see them transferring across so we we'll keep it keep it ticking through we have in training we've got these two units i want to move up to get some uh, mountain troops and uh, marines as we go through which will aid in the situation so you're probably looking in this area let's have a look so mountainous area here and this area is jungle so it's a combination of jungles and hills and i would say jungles you're probably looking 40 or 50 say 50 percent and hills you're looking 30 or 40 percent so still significant but a lower amount so we we'll keep it uh, ticking through get them into position you can see the troops moving up these guys are in training so we can see the uh, the training side of things these guys moving through using these uh, you can see the the uh, convoy side troops three units of the six so that production of uh, of units very very useful and you can see the uh, the tanks coming in from the the tank brigade the british tank brigade let's check and see what's happening in the rest of the world so you can see these battles japan is pushing its way in it started to it's attacked here so it may not be long until we are in trouble oh, and and they've landed here as well not looking good so we've got to carry on getting prepared the troops are in place ready to start pushing up and i expect um siam to go to work with japan to be either captured by them taken over or actually to join them so at the moment i don't know which is going to happen so we've got these troops which are moving in part of the uh, the 15 troops here and you can see that the experience on them has has gone up so we can get ready to start moving some of these guys into the front line on the other side so let's do that move some of these in get them into position allocate them there so we can do with another six but the trade the recruitment side we've got another potentially well four five and six so we've got six more units which could be which will be coming in let's actually allocate them to we'll put them in they'll come in siam and then as soon as they're in position let's have a look yeah i'll then allocate them to the second malaysian theater so they can start training so they're going to come in come in this area and then start training for now these troops are going to be heading in and speed things up speed wise going quite nicely so moving them into position let's check the recruitment side so we've got the equipment it's the training time so in fact let's add another unit that will help us with the training time getting troops into position now these five units let's get them allocated a 
Let's make sure we've got people in the right place. Okay, they're looking good, protecting that area. I'm liking the way this is looking. And then we've got the them moving up, ready to let's check the Liberty side of things. How's it going? So we've just got the, uh, let's have a look. Trade deal plus 20%, looking good. Now, extra research slot. Uh, yes, we can do that. Raise our autonomy. Oh, that's quite useful. Ooh, brilliant. Yes, let's do that. So we're not a puppet anymore. We're now a colony. Fantastic. Yes. Large portion. Yes. Very, very worthwhile. So. Extra trade to overlord 25%. Trade bonus. Can't declare war. Now, in this situation... Master can build constructions on the subject territory. Well, they can't do that anymore. So, uh, yeah, we are now getting our own aut autonomy. So back to the uh, the focus side of things. Extra research slot. I'm thinking it's about time. Yeah, looking really good. So keep it ticking over. We are now becoming our own people. We are breaking away, potentially, from the United... Well, no, we're, we're part of the Commonwealth, but we are looking after ourselves. Let's check these details. Two units which uh, are nearly up to spec. So let's get some of these. So let's transfer six more units for now. Allocate them there, and then put all of those on this front line. Select all, add in 24 units. Boom! So, two units left. Protecting this area, but as soon as we get new troops allocated we will then get them transferring across. So, improved machine tools, let's have a look. So, building this up, 1937, going well. Excavation, yes. One of the keys to victory of actually helping Malaysia to uh, to be... Uh, to, to be sovereign in its own right. So, let's look at the production side. So, we've got units which are nearly ready so we can well soon be able to produce additional additional men 10 more points how are we going to upgrade it so let's look at the equipment side of things so we've got 187 units of equip of equipment that we can use so let's see how we can potentially upgrade our troops to maximize their efficiency so click in recruitment side then we go into edit now as we're having a, having a look at what we could do so we've got that uh, that equipment now one useful way logistics which is going to make life easier for supplying the troops frontline supplies very very useful but also let's have a look at the other uh, numbers so engineering company material wise now infantry equipment we would have enough support equipment would be on minus 593 but i've got a feeling that it will be uh, quite beneficial so let's save that get that as the basic template and you saw the uh, the changes that happened so click that in boom 600 682 that we need now let's have a look at the construction side we have five five factories producing do we want to change one to increase because at the moment the production side we're losing 45 percent of our production capacity it's a huge amount and we really do need to uh, to get the aluminium so i'm thinking that will make a difference because it, it'll really upgrade our troops so sadly it's something we have to uh, have to sort out so aluminium let's trade who is the best to trade with now france potentially so 
where do we have equipment coming from already? From Australia. Now, where's the closest? What have we got? Sweden coming down. Japan at the moment. Canada. So, well, we, we want to help Britain as much as possible. So let's go for the UK. Send. Have all the factories producing trade goods. If you do that, you won't be, hold on, let's cancel. Let's re-look at this. We have nine convoys. Oh, right. And we need more. So, yes, we will need more in the way of transport. Let's re-look at our construction side. Used... We need no. We, we we need to have the production capacity. Sadly, we do, we really really do need this. So send, yes. Then factory side down to four, but we do need that tradeability. We don't. We we will need even more in the way of ships. So production. Let's tra change this two more ships so convoys and let's put in two two units of convoys alongside the uh, the subs that we uh, that we're producing at the moment so that will uh, that will sort out that problem and allow us to get the uh, the trade that we need luckily well, we don't need all of the aluminium that we're trading for, so um, so we're now... Let's have a look at the production side. 6, 665, everything's in hand. Cool. Let's check the numbers. Production, two a month. Brilliant. There's a 24 units. Let's speed things up. There we go. So we've got one unit almost completed. And soon, there we go, that's bumped up. 24 units. This one, where is he? This unit. Okay, they've, oh, they've allocated them to Singapore. <laughs> so we've got no one on this, no one at all on this side. Very interesting. Uh, let's change the garrisoning side of things. So, coastal. Well, no, they're, they're covering what they need to. No, they should be covering... We need more troops. That's the bottom line. So, this unit, let's allocate them here. They'll be they'll move in, so we'll see we'll see where they there they go. So they're moving over, brilliant. That was what I was hoping for. They're in training, so all of these units are in training, and we have the twenty four that we need on the other side. Extra research, brilliant, and the interwar artillery. So let's uh, let pause where we are at the moment. Details, that's looking good. And next, so additional research slot. More factories than fifty, so we need yeah we need a, a lot that quite a significant amount. Now neutrality. Let's have a look. Join ten. Uh, let's have a look. Gains national spirit. Neutral foreign policy. Let's have a look. Political power plus one hundred and fifty. I'm not sure about that. And intervention focus. Yes, we're going to focus on intervening. We want to be able to help people. Oh, yes. So, July 1939. Anti-tank is an option. But, let's have a look at these. That's working its way down now. Weapons-wise, improved weapon. Oh, we haven't got any support equipment. So, support equipment. Yes, definitely. New research. Manpower, I would say we we would need to have some sort of marines which will help with the coastal side of things. So support equipment and better equipment for the troops. 
that's looking good so construction side more factories I'm gonna these let's take out these fortifications for now right the maneuver the uh, let's have a look the roads we don't have a great amount of troops there at the moment so there isn't a um, a need for the supplies now if we had more troops there I would say that we would need it but we're gonna go for the minimum that we can get away with so let's look at the factory side this is full up but we can put more factories in this area so let's get more factories in start using the production cap so recruitment side coming in nicely more troops will be on on board very very soon these troops i'm just thinking about the one as soon as we get the uh, marines available i'm considering actually putting in units um in the normal the normal unit so that uh, we upgrade them we actually add marines in with this standard standard unit size probably sounds a bit strange so fleet wise get a new commander and then let's patrol the seas around where we are brilliant just those those two areas just get patrolling and with the new production put them in we've got one fleet so uh, bridge malayan fleet yeah any other that we have no that's it just the one one single fleet brilliant so they're gonna they're gonna cover the other water make sure that there's no one sneaking in to try and take Singapore which is our major area so we'll keep it keep it ticking over keep the uh, the subs just patrolling the uh, the waters and we'll see exactly how it goes right 24 and two units there so yep yeah, that's uh, that's looking good so back to the construction side keeping it ticking through we need more in the way of manpower so let's have a look at this recruitment side as soon as these are done in fact we don't need so many troops this this one unit we'll get this one out of the way and then I'm going to lower the uh, the numbers because I'm thinking we just need about another three get this one and then two or three units more after that so keep it ticking over get those troops in place so I think it's gonna it's going quite well let's check on the uh, the Japanese city oh goodness they're pushing hard fourth internationalists okay so they've landed there they're landing near all of the ports they're taking this area they're pushing through really really hard oh problems with my mouse right then let's have a look so we need these we've got these troops up along the border we need more of these guys just kicking out as soon as they can munich agreement oh dear and brilliant the britain and france and alliance interventionalist focus cool Naval, naval effort that's dealt with so let's have a look army mm, yeah additional army experience what else can we do now internationalism volunteer corps yes boost the numbers then we ha can modify the government now colonial wise let's see what we can do so fortification engineer nice democratic with that war industrialist construction speed plus 10 percent nice 
and something else. So tanks we're not doing. What have we got? Fleet logistics, army logistics. I'm thinking arm, army logistics. That's going to help. Cool. Grand Assault. Very, very neat. And we're going to go for infantry offence. They are very... So, keep it ticking over. Back to the recruitment side. Okay, that one... These are going to be uh, kicking out very soon. He's almost... 95-96% going very neatly let's put that down to 4 let's get rid of that unit more equipment for everybody else let's check the logistics side so 277 equipment Recruitment side, so we've got this one unit here. Let's allocate them to the other the other unit in training. Cool, just a, enough troops in position. That's looking good. And more excavation, brilliant. That's certainly going to help. So let's look at the trade side of things. Aluminium, good. Surplus alum, yeah. Surplus is in everything. Chromium, we will need... Well, well, we need some. We haven't got any. So, let's have a look. Research side. We could move up to construction as we're coming through. Now, what is going to be useful? So if we come up against tanks, well, we can't produce any anti-tanks at the moment. So, special forces coming in. improved weapons. I'm thinking that would be very useful. The recruitment side. Let's put that down to three. This unit is almost 74%. Let's put the, get them in training. Oh, support weapons, brilliant. Just what we needed. And improved support weapons. Yes, please. That'll do very nicely. So back to this recruitment side. This will bump us up neatly. Let's look at the this situation. So we've got 10 units. Now, equipment-wise, what do we need? So let's check where we are support wise so minus 200 so that's it's okay it could better if it's a positive so let's have a look then let's get into the recruitment side editing what we've got the option now support artillery we can build in for when we uh, when we need it now field hospitals are going to be very useful but we're going to need motorized We've got support equipment, we've got the manpower, field hospitals for getting troops back because we are short of manpower. That's one issue. Signal company, so yes, I'm thinking field hospitals, but then we're going to have to start producing motorised, which is going to be tricky. Let's have a look. Manpower, inventory, support. So recon, for now, will give us a bit of an advancement and it'll just be using equipment that we've already got. So we'll save that. And we'll look at the uh, the numbers. Logistic-wise, 533. So the troops will be getting the equipment. It was just we didn't have any motorised. And that's something we've got to look at as, uh, as one of the next stages. Volunteer Corps. Let's have a look. Sending volunteers minus 25%. Great. So we can deal with uh, with people around the world. Foreign expeditions, and then why we fight. Let's have a look. And then coming down to technology sharing. But we're going to need... Um, let's have a look. 
Uh, yes, so let's get this out of the way and keep it keep it ticking through. So recruitment numbers. For now, let's uh, before we look at that, see what's happening with the British side of things. They are potentially in a bit of a pickle. The Japanese are pushing down even stronger. Oh, that looked like they were being pushed back then. Yeah, the Chinese are pushing them back, which is nice. I'm liking the way that's looking. It's giving us more time to prepare. Let's check these numbers and add that unit into the other section. Looking good. So covering the, uh, the ports. I, I like the ability of that to cover the ports. Great. We've now got Marines. Lovely. Now, weapons... Weapons 2 will be very useful when we get that. Now, preferably armour, but we it, it's a whole new branch that we can't really afford. So let's have a look at the recruitment side. Now, 5 of 5. Get this out of the way and... Get them, get them in place, get them training. So you can, let's have a look at the marine side. So four units of mar marines, very tough hombres, with a 30% attack in marshes, rivers, 40, and amphibious, plus 50%. Really, really good. So it'll be used beneficial, even if we just have them, those troops, as part of a standard unit. Now... Material-wise and manpower-wise, we are in a bit of a bit of a pickle. So let's look at the recruitment side, and I'm thinking this one. Let's just ditch that uh, that unit and have one more unit coming in. This should give us put in a um, a an equipment situation where we are actually positive. So let's have a look. What do we need for this? Now, mountain troops could well be useful. Let's look back at the training side. So that's ticking in. January 1939. Improved construction or industry. Production side. Let's look at the trade. Now, we've got a surplus of just about everything so let's move in let's have a look so these excavations we don't need so much the construction side let's look at where we are construction si construction wise so it'll boost these up get the factories in place and allow us to produce even more so I'm thinking that would be yeah, the way forward just to get that get that sorted. So construction, yes. As as the next phase. Which will then allow us to, to build even more and then get factories to produce the weapons and the other equipment that we need. So that's very, very useful. So let's look back at the construction side. Four of five and it'll be done Feb in February. So not long at all. So that's very nice. And with more factories coming online. Let's have a look. Foreign expeditions. Looking good. And then why we fight? What do we need? Require deterrence. Oh, so we need both of these. Ah. No, so we've got that. So technology. Why can't... Oh, we're, oh, we're not at war. That's the reason. Okay. Next. Army efforts. Yes. Let's look at the the road situation. We need better better roads. On the other side, roads of three. Nine in the way of shipping. We do need we do need more. We're building up our numbers, which is useful. So, we will 
Let's have a look. Naval base. Level two. Yeah, we do we do need more. We've got one naval base here, eight. We will need more. Oops, wrong one. Put that up to three, which will aid the situation. And now is the time that we need the road improved there. The roads in Singapore to move people around. Uh, it's okay. We, we will get round to it. So, keep it... There we go. Germany reclaims Memel. Oh, dear. Germany. So, let's keep this ticking over. All of this equipment is transferring across. Trade is going very nicely. Oh, and modify the government. Now... Ship designs would be very useful. Now let's have a look at these national spirits. So we've got Liberty Ethos, trade deal plus twenty percent, Volunteer Corps minus twenty-five, Foreign Expedition minus fifty. So basically, we can send troops really where, wherever we we want to within reason. So let's have a look next. Artillery, fleet logistics, air combat, artillery. Well, we haven't got any, but it would be good to actually get some. So we will move up to that, up to that situation. Democratic reformer, democratic support, and four, uh, have a look, fortifications. Let's look at where we are. The democratic side, I would say, let's go for a democratic reformer, which will help our government side and sort out exactly where we are, get, get more people behind us. So that's, that's quite a good position to be in. Improved infantry equipment, great. And then leading up to improved weapons too. So we start weapons too. Make sure our troops are the best that they can be. 136, so that, this is going the right way. And we'll start moving in, improving the year production. Get more support equipment. Get Then start moving on to the artillery side. So we're ready to... Uh, to, to move in and de actually defend ourselves when we need to. Support weapons, very nice. So let's see. So that's that out of the way. 1940. Now, the Marines, we could go for better Marines. Plus 5% soft attack. Let's see what other options we've got. I'm thinking logistics company. Well, we haven't... Actually, signal company radios would be very useful. Give, it, give us an advantage on the battlefield. So, we will look at the logistics side as soon as we get the numbers. So, working with the radios, get the troops in place. Let's have a look at the army, see where we are with the production side. Okay, that's those four, five in place. Yep, that's looking good. And more of the recruitment. So one unit which will be coming out. And I would say the marine training, we're, we're going to look at adding additional troops to the... Let's have a look. Ooh, dear, Nanjing's gone. Let's see what's happening. Oh dear. Shanghai is gone. So we've got to get get ourselves ready. Keep it ticking over. We've got the forces in place. The equipment is good. We need to help Britain to be able to uh, to have enough troops, enough uh, that they don't have to worry about coming to protect us. That we can protect ourselves, so that they can have their forces elsewhere. So that's what I'm thinking of. Great. We're now in a positive equipment situation. Brilliant. Oh no. Menguku has capitulated. This area has gone. They've been captured. So that's that's really not good. And our manpower wise, we're coming up to uh, to army experience and oh let's have a look. German troops have crossed into Bohemia and Morovia. 
ostensibly to restore order to the regions in the wake of the collapsing Czechoslovakian government. Oh dear. In Prague, the occup occupying forces announced the creation of an autonomous protectorate within the German Reich. They've been taken over. With German support, Slovakia has been declared independent under the leadership of Josef Tiso. The, national, the na nation of Czechoslovakia is no more. Oh dear. Great. Okay. Motorization effort. Let's see. Got that in place. Now let's go for equipment. Folks complete. Neat. Requires equipment. Now, why can't we do this? That's just weird. Something, Something's happening about that at the moment. So let's look. So the motorization has done. Armor effect. Something strange is happening. It's completed, but it's not allowing us to move into the equipment effort. So the equipment effort is not allowing us to do it. Army effort is done. This is just weird. So, doctrine effort, anything else? Doctrine two, I'm not sure what is happening. Something really, really weird is going on. So, let's keep it ticking over. Something else must be going on. So, I've just missed something. So, <laughs> Zog has just submitted. The production side, we need this... As soon as this unit is uh, is out of the way, we, we'll then have a little bit of manpower to, uh, to play around with. And we'll have a reserve. So, that will be useful. Their troops are in position. Okay, we've got 15 to put in let's reorganize re-edit the uh, this brigade now i was thinking that the uh, the signal company the signal company will make a bit of a difference so we'll get the signal company in and you can see it's motorized we will need so we're going to have to start producing motorized to allow that to happen so let's do that and let's look at the logistics. So infantry equipment, 2,700. How's it, how's it going? Plus five. Okay. So let's get back to the production. One on production here. We will need motorized. So let's bump this up. And more factories actually available support equipment we will need more so i want to keep that that as a three and factories let's put a factory over on this side and let's get that get it kicking in as quickly as possible so, so one factory which is going to get those uh, that motorized kicking in and supporting the equipment and uh, getting the equipment for the, the troops. So we keep that going. The recruitment side, 57%. Keep it going. Why are we short? Level 2 trained. Manpower, 2,400 of 4,300. Infantry offence. The infantry are offensive. Oh, brilliant. And then we've got armed operations a 50% bonus that's really useful so keep it ticking through the Japanese situation they're held in this area but they're pushing right the way through into China the other side which is a little bit of a pain they haven't declared against um, Britain yet but I think it's, a, it's well it's only a matter of time so construction three, let's have a look, see where we are. Let's get 
this out the way and then concentrated industry which is going to bump, bump up our production so we need 300 here 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 and here so get this factory out of the way oh alice have joined the act uh, italy's joined the axis not good equipment effort now that's why doctrine effect that'll boost the land doctrine okay we can do that get this factory out of the way start getting those motorized the Molter of Ribbon, Ribbon Top Pact, not good. So when Germany clicks through and decides to uh, to carve Poland up, let's click that so we can always come back to it. The same, let's highlight this area. And our own homeland, Borneo, as well as looking up towards China clicking them in and so let's have a look back down to ourselves keep it going so the recruitment side bumping up 2455 we do need more men so as soon as we get to 10 units 8.87 8.9 when we get to 10 I'm going to stop the um, exercising have a look modify the government not bad at all so next air training fleet logistics artillery specialist that will work for us France banned communism oops so almost at there we go 9.4 9.46 as soon as we get to 10, then I'll stop the training. Great, we've got the signal company in operational, uh, operation. So, uh, let's have a look. The recon company and the boosted engineering. Have the um, to allow us to dig in better. So, keep those ticking through. Wait for this to get to 10. Not, not, there we go. Okay. Now, the training of this second unit click in and we'll stop that training yes these troops need it but oh actually let's just get the ex the additional points let's bump it's not just about uh, the about these guys let's get the addition oh that's nice Inf boosted infantry equipment now we're going to get less for our money almost uh, 1940 situation very very useful very good pieces of kit even 1942 anti-tank. Oh, very, very nice. Now let's look at what we have here. Recon com Improved recon companies. Yes. Let's look at the logistics side. Now that's one of the big differences. Is by being in with Britain. That... Um, that what we're learning and what's spread amongst the the Commonwealth or in the on the side with J Japan and the yeah the Axis that they actually they share the information a bit like what we're doing but on the opposite side so it's useful for us to do it let's have a look at the recruitment side so these troops I want them in place but we're short of equipment actually let's just get them let's get them out so i'm going to click this get get them into place get them there this one single unit let's allocate them here they're going to travel over and they'll start giving us a, a bit more in the way of ex army experience so what can we actually add we've got 10 points let's look at the recruitment side edit now three troops per unit we've got the option now let's have a look at the um, the marine side what will adding the marines give us 
Let's have a look. Additional 10, 10 hit points. Organization plus 5. Recovery rate 0 0.01. Suppression plus 1. Yep, yeah, we can see that. Plus 9. Soft attack. Hard attack plus 1.5. Defense plus 32, very use, so useful, and sixth breakthrough. Now, it is a useful situation, plus it'll uh, give us the benefits in, let's have a look, attacking in these areas, marshes, plus 7%, better defense in the marshes, and rivers, plus 10%. So I'm thinking that, that would it'll be useful and, and it'll slow it'll just give us a bit of an edge for the troops without actually having to, to build brand new units. I know it's spread it's spreading actually so let's let's reset because if we go for marines on their own they won't have this specialist equipment but we can have special units of marines themselves so let's look at the marine unit itself a river attack plus 40 amphibious plus 50 and marshes plus 30 now by having a, a special unit just for attacking in these areas it could potentially give us the edge so i'm thinking of just one single unit and similarly when we get the uh, the, the mountain troops one single unit of mountain troops to specialize in these areas so do we train one unit or well, we don't have the manpower but as soon as we can i would think that that's something we can do now with the additional 10 points let's look at the recruitment side edit i want to be able to uh, to put in support artillery okay but field hospitals are much more useful to allow us to get more troops and to, to, to get the troops back into the trickle back effect without the, the loss of experience. So let's do that so that our troops can come back into play as quickly as they can and it's just losing us a bit of equipment. So minus a thousand support equipment, minus 900 in the way of uh, motorized so we need this production which will be coming in there we go it won't be long at all and we're going to need more let's bump that up to two factories we'll put let's actually oh cancel that just leave that as one for now get these factories in place started pr producing so we can catch up on the support equipment and the uh, the motorized in the background while we're bumping up our production capacity to allow us to uh, to work with the troops Poland oh dear war with Poland armored operations well we don't have any armored so uh, that's a bit Oh, Germany's refusing, uh, is uh, ignoring everybody. Oh dear. National focus completed. Uh, yes. Land doctrines. Now, can we go? Will we? Well, Germany's at war with Poland. We haven't declared war on them yet. So let's have a look at the these slots. What can we do? Supply consumption minus 10. Very useful for our troops. So, yes, let's go for that. The German Reich is justifying against us. Well, I would say that if we, if, if they've just declared war on Poland, the, we're about to start declare war on them. So let's slow things down a little bit for now. And see exactly where we are, national focus wise. See where it, where it's put us. Let's have a look. And um, we're producing outdated equipment. Oh, let's re-sort out the production side. So, infantry equipment. 
let's boost this up to the third level, uh, the next level of weapons. 10,000 weapons. Ouch. How are we looking? So we've got 3,700 weapons, but they're not the best. So we'll see how this goes with the production side. Then, national focus. Mechanised, artillery. Well, we don't have any of that yet. But I'm thinking land doctrines, which will, that will certainly help and make our troops more effective. So let's get back to the construction side. Get these units. There we go. Bump up the speed. Poland has joined the Allies. Okay. So... I would expect us to be called into war. In defence of Poland. So let's go up and... Uh, Go to where, go to Poland, click in, and see what we can do. Improve relations. So, ah, we are we are at war with Germany. No, they're at war with Germany. So let's have a look at our situation. Britain. We can't declare what. Okay, so we have to be have to wait to be brought in. Okay, we can do this. So back to our home situation. Keep this ticking through. Production. Yep, they've called us into the German-Polish War, as I was expecting. Support equipment there, so we need more in the way of motorised. We will need more in the way of this better equipment. Everyone's coming in. So. Production wise, it's about to kick in. And we'll see exactly where we are and see, see what we need. There we go, that started kicking in. They've fallen. They didn't stand a chance. No, I think the whole world is, is in need of help. So. This is a fan with the the fall of Poland, fifty six minutes. we we've just started producing uh, motorized. This is going to build up, and I'm thinking this is a really good place to leave the uh, the next episode. So with Japan starting to storm its way across China. In Poland, well, Poland, look at this situation. Warsaw's just fallen, but the battle is still going on. We're at war with Germany. This is. September 1939, this is how the world looks. From our poor little Borneo, Bridge Malaya, and on this side, Singapore, still stands. Here, we have the United Kingdom in Hong Kong. We are here ready to stand up with our brothers. See you soon. I'm Gaming Bear. Have a great, great time until the next episode, and see you soon. Have fun. Bye, guys.